Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight, I am checking into the Polynesian bungalows. I am so excited. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, so we are gonna be at the Polynesian bungalows on Christmas Eve. This is mind blowing. So, 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 so thankful. Thank you, Kirsten, John, Jessica, and Fidget, because they're the ones that gave me this stay tonight. They actually were trying to come down for the holidays, but ended up not being able to come because of travel restrictions. So they decided to just give me this day and I'm so thankful. Anywho's, let's go do this. Because they can't make it down here and I'm actually gonna stay here for them in place, I wanna try to make such an amazing video. We're gonna have amazing views of Cinderella Castle and all of their projections they do, plus the firework burst. And then the water pageant just started a couple days ago. Oh, it's a ferry boat. Even the front entryway, they have like a little tiny bench around the corner there. And then they even have a doorbell. You have your own doorbell. <laughs> that is amazing, isn't it? This is the hallway that we just walked in, but the big thing that I actually want to show you is right out on the balcony because they have the Christmas music blasting. Look at this view, isn't it beautiful? And do you hear the Christmas music? Wow. I'm just so happy to be here. The monorail going by right there. TTC, oh, we're gonna watch the ferry boats go back and forth all night. The Contemporary, Space Mountain, their Cinderella Castle, the Grand Floridian. This is amazing. I'm gonna give you guys the full tour. Before I give you the grand tour, because I said tomorrow is Christmas Eve and I need to get in the holiday spirit. I always said if I was to stay in a Disney resort during the holidays, I was going to decorate it for Christmas. So that's what I did. I literally grabbed all of my Christmas decorations. I don't have many, but I am going to set up Christmas day like I'm going to set it up in here. I'm going to make it very magical, merry and bright. This is the living room here. As you can see, they have the day bed there with the electrical water pageant behind it. That is awesome. And then this is the balcony right here. I was thinking about maybe setting up my Christmas tree somewhere in this area, but I actually wanna get that all set up and then I'm gonna show you around to all the other rooms. Look at that ferry boat going by right there. Oh, and the other speed boat flying by. Well, after all of that, there's not much left for me to say except to wish you happy holidays and the best of everything for the new year. And I think I'm finished. I told you I don't have a lot of decorations, just a little bit, but I also brought all of my Christmas cards that all of you guys sent me so that I can kind of have them here with me at the bungalow. And so it's like you guys are in the bungalow. Some of them have pictures of you and I just appreciate all of them. Look at this one. I love that card. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adam, Beth. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, John, Richard everyone that sent me a card and if you don't see yours i probably do have it i grabbed a whole bunch of them but they're just basically scattered like all over the whole entire bungalow and then all of my ornaments i also want to say thank you to anyone that sent me an ornament too because i absolutely love everything it's a little dinky tree i use my um, mickey mouse santa claus hat as the topper but i absolutely love it oh look at this one too very cool and i'm just so blessed and thankful now that i'm all decked out for the season i think i'm gonna give you guys like a a quick tour of the bungalow show you the different bedrooms bathrooms closets kitchens patios furniture pictures everything 
Obviously, I showed you the living room, and this is where I put up all of the Christmas decorations and the lights. I wanted to actually hang those lights, like maybe somewhere over here, but I didn't bring anything to hang them with. That's just me not thinking right. And then I got all the cards, like I said, and then right on the other side of the living room is the gigantic kitchen. Comes with a microwave, comes with an oven, a huge fridge. I mean, this fridge is gigantic, and may I say, it's fully stocked with French vanilla creamer and the Bud Lights. Even a freezer. What's the second part? Ooh, that's like a separate ice thing. I like it. And then all of the lights are actually with this fancy thing here. You can literally control it all. So it's a hallway. Ooh. I didn't mean to shut the lights off, but now I really like how it looks in here. <laughs> I did good, I think. I mean, I know some people will say I didn't do good, but it's just, you know, for, for a guy here, I think I did a pretty good job, I feel like. But now we gotta turn the lights back on for the hallway. We gotta just do. Look at that. So, down here we have one bathroom. Take a look in here. Lots and lots of closet space. Oh my lord, like. Tons of closet space. You can stand up right in there, I feel like. We got a clothes basket. Yeah. And look at all of the cool trinkets they have. And then the pictures. Wow. In the tiki 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 room. Look at, this is actually a bobbly. Oh wow, right above the commode. And then Mickey and Minnie are in here too. You see them there? This is a really nice bathroom. And then we have the shower area. This is like separated from the bathroom, so they have two different doors. I like the color too. So you got light green and then blue on the doors. This is very nice. It's got a nice little sink area. All the soaps we need, we'll be taking those. And then back out here, the hallway has amazing pictures. I absolutely love all of them. This little guy's from the entranceway. I don't know if you remember that from the Porta Corche. And then, the two bedrooms, because this is a two bedroom and this is the master one. I think I have the lights turned. Oh yeah, I do. Look how nice this is in here. I love it. And it actually has a doorway that leads out to the patio. But I want to see if these, oh, there we go. It's a little bit brighter. I like that little picture up here too. This is very nice. And like I said, this leads out to, oh, leads out there. Oh, you get a view of Space Mountain from here too. Let's see. <laughs> Look at this. I love it. Wow. The sun is starting to set a little bit. I love it so much. Of course, I don't know if we said we have the tub right here. Sorry, I got the music going. I was really getting in the spirit. And earlier, I pulled that little, I pressed that button there, and it actually started raining on me. Very strange. You can control it with this little knobby here, so I'll control it like that. The water is actually a little bit warm. Like I said, I don't think it's a jacuzzi because I don't see any jacuzzi jets, but I think it's like, you know, just a little pool area. But at least the water is warm and it's fairly cold out. And plus you get a great view. So who wouldn't mind just sitting in a little tiny pool looking at a big castle? But now we're gonna go back around and I'm gonna show you the other side, the other bedroom. Oh, and the master, the master bathroom too, right over here. I wanted to go in the master bathroom and set it up first and then shut the door because I love how these doors work. I love the slidey doors, but this is such a bathroom. Look at this. Amazing, right? Oh yes. We got a TV in the mirror, I bet. Maybe, oh yeah, I see it right there. It's popping up any second now, bada bing. And then we got a jacuzzi tub. This is a very deep, deep tub. Oh, I turned on the fan. And then we got a stand-up shower. Very cool. I love it. Right next door to the master bedroom, we have another bedroom. And this one is nice too. I like the little surfboard. It says Seven Seas Surf Company. It's very nice. And you got a nice little window seat. And then a little day bed with Lilo and Stitch. 
this is very comfortable, right? I don't know which room I'm gonna sleep in. Probably that room. Definitely that room. Who am I kidding? I decided to step back outside real quick just to see what the sunset was looking like. I wish I can actually do a sunset video for you right now, but it looks like the sunset is happening on the other side. Maybe a possible sunrise in the morning? I don't know. I just might be sleeping in, but we'll see how that goes. Another thing that I like though, is hearing the water splash right here. Listen to that. Right outside your actual resort room or your bungalow. I, I am so happy to be here. But that was just a quick little tour of the bungalow. Now I kind of just want to sit outside, listen to the actual Christmas music they have playing, and then, I don't know, maybe come back in here, watch some Christmas movies. Definitely going to watch the uh, electric water pageant and also all of the castle projections and firework burst. This is going to be such a great night. I am so happy. <laughs> I am like so beyond happy. <laughs> Look at this view. This is what I wanted to come out. Got myself a good old Bud Light. I'm going to probably sit in the chairs and uh, just watch it get a little bit darker out. Now, I'm not going to do a whole time lapse because like I said, the sunset is actually happening on that side. But I'll just give you guys a little time. Maybe we'll see some of the uh, ferry boats going back and forth. And then later on tonight, we're going to see the electrical water pageant. And like I said, all those projections on the castle because that is an amazing view. Right there she is, right in the center. Sitting out here is absolutely beautiful. I love seeing the lights on the ferry boats, listening to the music and the sun's just slowly going down. This is so amazing. I absolutely love it. And the light for the pool just turned on. Look at, you can see the lights from inside the living room. And then look at the little lit up pool that they got here. That is so awesome, isn't it? Now it's getting super dark out. So I wanna go get something to eat before the electrical water pageant actually starts so that I can, you know, feel up on some good foods. I'm thinking either Kona or Captain Cook's. I don't know which one. I do love the coconut meatballs at Captain Cook's, but Kona has the Ohana bread pudding. So eh, it's, gonna do, it's gonna be tough to decide, but we're gonna head to the Great Ceremonial House and just walk around the grounds a little bit. I don't mind like walking around the Polynesian tonight because I like seeing all the fire torches. Those are my favorite. Holy moly, when I walked out the door, look at that. <gasps> this is amazing, isn't it? Look at these beautiful Florida skies. And the moon is right there. I love hearing the Christmas music and seeing those skies. I know that I've been to the Polynesian quite a few times during the holidays, but it's always nice to show the Christmas decorations in the lobby, but also point out that they have a kind of tiki toddy, a hot Christmas beverage that they normally don't sell, and also some of the other holiday offerings that they have, maybe at Captain Cook's. Right here is the tiki toddy. If you guys want to check that out, we did this as, I think, the night for the fireworks. It was very delicious. I don't think I'm going to get it tonight, but I think you'll like it if you do like a regular hot toddy, just mixed up a little bit. I mean, honestly, who wouldn't like a hot toddy or a tiki toddy? But I absolutely enjoyed it the last time I was here. It's just right now I'm more focused on the food aspect of things. I also told you guys I wanted to show you the Christmas decorations or mainly just the Christmas tree. It's always one of my favorite trees because it's not the biggest of them, but it's still got its own little pizzazz because I like the pineapples in the tree. Isn't this just so beautiful? And it's got pineapples, like I said, and then covered in different lays. It's not the biggest tree, but like I said, it's got its own little pizzazz, little pizzazz of pineapple. And then you got all this different garland next to the boutique. And even inside, all of the tiki gods are decorated for the holidays. They look so festive, not so angry. Well, this guy always looks like he's just happy. 
I decided on getting some Thai coconut meatballs at Captain Cook's, but I'm really interested if I can get the bread pudding from Kona to go. So I placed my mobile order at Captain Cook's. Now I'm gonna go up to Kona and ask them if I can order it to go. I don't know if it's an in dining or dining in only. We'll find out. I asked Kona if I can actually get the bread pudding to go, but they said it was actually for dine-in only. But you can also order from Kona from Tambu Lounge. So I went to Tambu Lounge and I was able to get the bread pudding uh, if you just sat down and I grabbed myself a Bud Light and I got myself the bread pudding. And then he's going to bring me a to-go box so we can take it back to the room. I don't want to miss the electrical water pageant or I would just eat it right here. Look at that. So I got my Ohana bread pudding, or should I say Kona bread pudding, and then I also got my Thai meatballs from Captain Cook's. And we're gonna take this back to the room and enjoy it. Now I'm back inside my bungalow, and actually, they have plates that we can eat off. So I don't need to be eating my coconut meatballs out of this container. I'm gonna put it in a fancy bowl. Look at this. That's a real fancy bowl, isn't it? They also have tiki mugs up there too. Look at that. I don't think I can use those though. No, they're, they're fastened in there. Can't be stealing the tiki mugs. Oh wow, that looks so good. <laughs> oh yeah, we got the good stuff. I love these coconut meatballs so much. And I like looking at my lights actually as I'm eating, listening to a little bit of the Polynesian music. I really love these meatballs. They're one of my favorite quick service meals, actually. The rice is just always so perfect. And I love the coconut sauce. Like this is such a great meal. I am eating so much of this. Like it is such a delicious meal. I know I keep saying that, but I absolutely love the living room. I feel so at home and like cozy. It's just perfect. That was much too good. And we actually have a dishwasher in here too. So I can just stick it in there and then turn it on and actually let it clean itself. But we do have the bread pudding to get to and I'm gonna put this all fancy. Look at this guys. They even have a little tiny thing I can heat up the caramel syrup in. Oh, I'm so excited that this is actually all working out good like this. So we're gonna be able to just pour this in here. Uh, wait a second. I think I need to heat it up first. It's a two ounce ramekin so I think I could put it in there for 10 seconds. Not two minutes. Uh-oh. 10 seconds. 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, and bing. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Now we're just putting it in here so we can drizzle it over the banana, over the bread pudding. <laughs> Look at this. Now here is the bread pudding. So we got the bread pudding and now we're going to put the ice cream in. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Perfect. And now we have our little thingy. Now you ready? <laughs> it's just like the real thing. I love it. Oh boy, I am so excited. It's so amazing. I think I'm gonna take it over here, slip into some pajamas, and maybe watch some TV in the living room. I think that sounds like a good idea. I was gonna put it on the table, but I put all the cards there, so I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll just put the TV on and then eat it standing up. Now I think after we had the banana pudding, maybe we'll go out and sit by the water and hopefully catch the electrical water pageant as it goes by, or even the projections on Cinderella Castle and the fireworks. Maybe, hopefully one of those. So oh wow. Christmas this is amazing. And since we have a couple of minutes before the electric water pageant, maybe I want to hang out in the little pool out there, just see if we can catch a little of the projections. And I hope it's like really warm because the temperature I think is at like 57 degrees. So it better be a little bit warm or I'm gonna be freezing. I don't know how long I'll be staying in there. All right, look at this. Isn't it so cool? 
We got ferry boats driving by the castle right there. I'm gonna get down in here. <laughs> oh, oh, it is warm. Holy moly. Oh, this is just too good. Wow. This is really good. I'm really liking this right now. <laughs> I'm not too sure if there are any lights out here, so I'm using the light from my phone, and I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it in the pool, so I have to be very careful. But the water is very warm, and the Christmas music is playing great, and you get a great view of the castle from here too. And the water pageant should start in about 20 minutes. Ooh, is that bright? Ooh, it's very bright. <laughs> so the water pageant should start soon, and we're gonna be able to catch it, but I'm gonna get out of the pool for that, obviously. Ooh, I like this lighting effect that we're getting from the pool on the railing. You can see like the water rippling. Oh, and honestly, we might be able to see the, some of the projections and fireworks because it's almost getting to that like round of a minute type. 8.29, so probably 8.30. Oh, look at that, it just happened. Sitting in the pool was great, but getting out, oh, now that's getting cold. I need to get a towel. <laughs> now I'm all changed into my pajamas. The electrical parade is gonna happen any second now. So uh, we're gonna go back outside. But I took my hat off the top of the tree because I just wanted to wear it. I put the other one up there. It's just a generic Santa Claus. I like the Mickey one. Oh wow, look at, here it comes. Here it comes, here it comes. I think we're gonna have to turn the music off though so we can hear the music for the electrical parade. The electrical water pageant is so amazing. And honestly, it's the loudest I've ever heard it was actually from out here at the bungalows. And I also found out there's lights here. <laughs> Afterwards, I was like, oh, there is light. So now I can sit out here and not be in so much of the dark. They're real fancy lights too. But I do like the way that the pool actually color, like the color of the pool. So I don't want to keep the lights on. I just like seeing the purple pool. And I noticed that their pool was blue. So I wonder if I can make my pool blue. Oh, I actually hear the water pageant again. I think I'm all done with the outside. So I think I'll come in the living room and see if there's any Christmas movies to watch. I'd love to see Elf. I think Elf is a pretty good one. Oh, the Christmas story. There should be something on. It's Disney TV. I know I said I was going to sleep in the master bedroom, but this definitely comes in at a very close second. Look at that. The electrical water pageant right here. This is really nice. And actually, you know what I would do? I would shut this life off. Pull these lights off. Thank you. Just... Definitely not safe. Don't try this at home. I was trying to make it like very colorful in here. Like for the actual pageant. Like, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's all different colors. So don't, don't do this. Okay. All right. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Please don't try to <laughs> lay with Christmas lights. That's a, that really wasn't a good idea, but I was just trying to imitate the electrical parade, you know? Anywho, I think I'm actually gonna go to the master bedroom and go to bed and call it a night so I can wake up tomorrow and just continue on with the festivities. This is like so huge walking through this place, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I left the bathroom TV on. Look at that. Very fancy. Oh, look at how those lights are still kind of like on. 
So good night, friends. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and we will resume when we wake up. Night! <laughs> Morning. Ugh. That was good. That was good. That was a ridiculously comfortable bed. I don't even know what to say. I mean, I just slept and slept and slept. So now I want to go get some coffee and drink it on those swinging chairs out there. Sounds like an amazing plan. I've also been realizing, well, last night, you know, after I took a shower and everything like that, that this resort has like some amenities that other Disney Vacation Club and like resorts don't have. You know, for instance, I'll show you. Obviously, we got the fancy china for the coffee, but china you can get in other rooms. One thing I've never seen before in other rooms is a scale. Or any of these. I've never seen like a Disney resort toothbrush, shaving kit, shower cap, vanity kit. I've never seen any of those before. Also, the shower was amazing. I absolutely love that shower. <laughs> I also feel very blessed. I brought the French vanilla creamer and I got a gingerbread Tiki man. Hmm, I like it. Oh, yes, that sounds amazing. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> this is where I was talking about. I want to sit and drink my coffee. Watch the ferry boats coming in. Stare at Cinderella Castle. Sounds pretty amazing. Do, do, do. This is amazing. I am so, so happy and thankful. I never thought I'd ever be able to stay in a bungalow. I looked at them as like, my dream stop like somewhere I'm like wow one day I'm gonna stay in there but like never actually one day stay there so it's it's really an honor for me to be here and I'm just so thankful about it and I'm, I can't even believe it like I, I really can't believe it and it's Christmas Eve it's Christmas happy Christmas Eve everyone oh <laughs> I wanted to come back inside and you know just hang out with my little Christmas living room and order some pancakes. So now I have to shut these lights because it gets really, really bright in here. And they have two different ones like this. So then, just as we do this, look at that. Very nifty, right? And then I'll shut these ones. You can like literally just kind of just make it completely pitch dark in here. The littlest things impress me, but now it's too dark, so I'm gonna use this fancy light switch. And go on. Ooh. Hallway. I'm talking like it's listening to my voice. Dining room. All right, let me set this bad right here. Hey, Mickey. All right, the order is placed, so now we're going to head over to Kona and pick it up. I'm not changing out of my pajamas. I mean, I'm just going over to grab breakfast and coming back here. Oh, man. I'm walking around in my pajamas at the Great Ceremonial House. Good morning! <laughs> it's a little hot. Well, look at my Mickey ears from my Santa hat. The Great Ceremonial House is right there. Uh, last night, I probably didn't give you an estimated time, but it takes like one minute, maybe two minutes just to walk there. At least we can walk along the beach and listen to the Polynesian Christmas music. I have to feel the sand in my shoes, though. <laughs> I'm not even on the sand. I can just you can see all the sand. <laughs> nope, and there we go. That's pretty easy. They actually just have it sitting there. You can just pick up yourself and go. I can't wait to get into these. These are one of my favorite pancakes. Eventually in the future, I'd like to do a pancake vlog where I show you all the cool pancakes around Walt Disney World. There are a lot. You know, I, I know that sounds crazy, but there are 
so many different types of pancakes. It blows my mind and they're all unique. All right, let's see what we got in this bad boy. Bada bing. Bada boom. Oh, oh, that one's a little heavy. A little heavy, that must be the pancakes. Onto the plate because I got the ham, not the spiced ham, I got the regular ham. Then we have the macadamia nut pancakes right here. Oh boy, it looks like three of them. I'm using my fork. Whoop. Fantastic. Now for the macadamia nut butter right there. Very good, very good. Now for the pineapples. Oh yes, oh yes, there you go. Oh, that's the stuff, that's the stuff. This is just gonna be so amazing. I love these pancakes. I'm gonna get a little bit of all that on there. Oh yeah. Oh, I can see the macadamia nuts right in the middle there. Do you see that? Oh, I haven't had these in such a, such a long time. It is just so amazing. These have to be literally one of the best pancakes I've ever had. The potatoes are really good too. I love that they had the little peppers and onions, like potatoes O'Brien, but Polynesian. Breakfast was absolutely amazing. Now I think I wanna go hang out on the balcony, drink more coffee, stare at the castle, and uh, wrap it up because this has been an amazing stay. I don't know how much I can basically say how thankful I am because this is a dream come true. I will remember this forever. The littlest moments, the coffee on the balcony, the coffee definitely swinging on the swings over there because that was amazing. I remember the bed. I remember sitting inside the little pool watching the electrical water pageant go by, decorating the living room, the music. There is so much that like I'm just gonna remember forever. I just hope that Kirsten, John, Jessica, and Fidget enjoyed the video. Guys, thank you so much. You made this possible. I'm so sorry that you couldn't come stay yourself. Uh, I know it's been such a crappy year for 2020. Nobody has actually benefited from this. It's been really rough and I just, you know, I'm just thankful that I've been given the chances and the opportunities to entertain you guys and show you guys some of the greatest things around Walt Disney World and all around like Orlando and I just feel like happy about that like if anything I've ever accomplished in life it would be what I am doing now and it's just it's, it's an amazing feeling like it's an amazing feeling when I see the Christmas cards when I see people write me messages and like just to know that I can bring like a smile or something happy to somebody it's like it's, it's amazing it's simply amazing and I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm worth something. So like, thank you guys so much. Thank you all of you. I, I love every single one of you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. <sighs> we'll see you next time. Bye.